Hey everyone, uh, just want to do a quick video. I, I always say quick video. Hopefully I can keep it short. Um, I got my new lathe several months ago and I've gotten around to cleaning it up, putting it in where it's supposed to go and adding a few things here and there. Well, it came with what I thought was a really sweet uh, bison chuck. Six or eight inch, I'm not real sure. I think it's a six inch. Could be eight inch, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, these things are like, I don't know, anywhere from six to 800 bucks, depending on what model you get and all that good stuff. Uh, it's not the true set bison. It's just a regular, um, you know, regular mount back plate. Uh, this, this lathe has an L00 uh, spindle connection on it. <clears throat> and uh, the machine was pretty filthy when I got it. And I'm sure it's been used and abused over the years, like most of them have this age. Um, but I threw a piece of stainless steel three quarter inch rod, not ground or anything, just regular old stainless steel rod that was, it should have been fairly straight and was fairly straight to be honest. Um, and I just threw the indicator on it. Um, that is not what you see now. This was, a, this was several weeks ago, but I threw the indicator on it. And when I rotated the, uh, the chuck by hand, I could visually see it was out by like a mile and by a mile I mean it measured 16 thousandths which is a shit ton I mean I realize it's a three jaw and they're not exactly typically known for you know high accuracy but for a six to eight hundred dollar chuck I expected a lot better um, hell my old atlas used to have like two thousandths total total indicated run out so I knew this was way off the mark something was wrong something was bent something was wasn't right. So I ended up, um, I almost, I almost put the damn, uh, tool post grinder in here and just ground the jaws and said the heck with it. But with that much run out, something just was not right. So I said, all right, I'll take it apart, clean it. Um, so I did that, took it apart. Of course it was packed with, uh, 20 year old chips. There's a 1996 stamp on here. I'm assuming that's the year, which would make sense. It's about 20 years old. The lathe is obviously much older, but this machine was used in a machine shop for a number of years, and I'm sure it was bought a couple decades ago, and probably never, ever torn apart and cleaned. Based on the grease, I know it wasn't, because the grease was brittle, and uh, for grease to get brittle, uh, it's got to be pretty damn old. So, anyway, I tore it all apart, never had one apart before, never had one, never had a bison before. I've had plenty of the Chinese and Atlas chucks apart, and this thing is... You can see why it's worth what it's worth. Uh, it's made very well, very precise. The close tolerance fits. I mean, it's a super nice chuck for what it is. Um, it was also super filthy, and chips were just packed in all kinds of nooks and crannies. Like I said, the grease was completely destroyed. Um, so anyway, I cleaned it all up. I threw just the back plate on the lathe, and I also checked the spindle itself for run out. I got pretty much zero measurable run out on the spindle nose, which was really good. I was worried the damn thing was bent, um, but that was good to go. I also mounted the back plate on there and it turned out to be good to go. Um, no measurable run out really, maybe a 10th or two. Um, I got this Mitsutoyo, uh, let me see if I can get you to focus here. There we go, maybe something like that. Anyway, it's a, 0 0.0001 indicator. Um, I really don't know why I have this damn thing. I bought it thinking I needed it, and it's way more accurate than I could ever uh, plan to, to need out here in this home shop. But anyway, I bought it. It's extremely finicky because it is very accurate, but doing stuff like this, it also tells a bigger picture. Um, if I had just my standard test indicator on there, I wouldn't be able to get it nearly as accurate as a readout, obviously. So um, while it can be a little bit cantankerous and, and picky to dick with, uh, it's, it's super accurate. And uh, anyway, the only damn ground thing that I had, I didn't have any ground rod. So this is actually a Tormach TTS, uh, basically uh, an edge finder, essentially. But it's ground, and it's very precise, I would say, uh, easily within a couple tenths as far as runout goes. So it's lightly chucked in here. Um, I cleaned this chuck all completely, cleaned all the crap out of it, re-greased it, put it all back together, checked the spindle nose, it was good, checked the back plate, it was good.
put the chuck back on it and just barely snugged it up in here and voila let me show you it's basically on zero now okay so that's a thousandths and that's total indicated run out so that's you know, basically half a thousandths run out so total indicated let me get the damn focus to work there it is maybe 1.1 on that and I could probably tap you know loosen the back bolts just a hair and tap it around with a dead blow and get it even closer but come on a thousandth of an inch it looks like it's a huge swing but it's it's not it's just because the indicator is that accurate um, but I am super happy that that turned out the way it did anyway just wanted to show you, um, I know I read a bunch of stuff, I'm like, and everybody was saying, oh, you need to clean the chuck first, clean it first, clean it first, there might be a chip stuck somewhere. And I always said to myself, that's probably not the case. It's probably just worn out, it's junk or whatever, it's a cheap chuck. Well, this was not the case on this one. I cleaned it, put it back together, and bam. I, and, I, and I checked it like a mul multiple times as far as the original run out. 16 thousandths, which is just, in cra it's a crazy amount of run out. And uh, anyway, yeah, it's down to one thousandths, which I can live with all day long for this ancient machine. Um, I am super happy that that turned out the way it did. So if you have run out problems, completely disassemble everything, clean everything up, and uh, yeah, put it all back together, raise it up, and see what you get, because it, it makes a difference. I don't know what happened. I know there were some chips in the scroll itself. Uh, it could have been a chip on a face of the... One of the jaws, I don't know. I mean, it was just just one of those deals. I mean, you could, like I said, you could visually see the original rod just flopping around. But anyway, it's all good now and uh, works like a champ. Super happy. Hopefully it helps somebody in the future. Like I said, um, if you clean them up, I'm a believer now. It can actually make a difference. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.